how does somebody settle? Mm -hmm. you, know, you feel like this is actually the person I want to court as I plan for my Everything starts with attraction. You know, mm -hmm. there's, there's always something that will be catchy mm -hmm. from the other person that will attract your attention. Mm -hmm. So you have gotten attracted to this person. You want to know more of them. Mm -hmm. That's the time you want to spend a lot of time with them. Mm -hmm. That's the time you want to do so many things with them because it's a, it's a stage of curiosity. You want to discover and learn more about this person. What do they like? What do they hate? How do I make them happy? Hi everyone, my name is Martha and I'm so glad to be with you here today. Of course, this is Decoding the Process and I am your host, Martha Mora. I hope you're doing well and at this stage of relationships, I know you are gaining and gaining so much knowledge because we have been sharing so much, we have been interacting with many kinds of people, different levels, different um, seasons of life and today we are going to be having one of you guys is of course as single as you <laughs> as long as you're not married you're single <laughs> so um she's gonna be at least sharing some of her experiences and some of the things she has learned in her journey and of course generally in the dating and courtship season so thank you very much for joining us and thank you our guest you can introduce yourself thank you my name is edda mweni is here I am a teacher by profession, uh, currently working in the Dab Refugee Complex as a humanitarian worker. I am also a single young person, but in the courtship process, and the founder of Royal Diadem, which is a platform that seeks to reach out to the heart people in the society mm -hmm. and encourage them and lead them to God's leading hand. Wow. Thank you for having me. I love that introduction because she's not just seated waiting to get married. <laughs> <laughs> she has said she's single, yes, in the you know in the season of you know dating and courtship, but she is doing so much a humanitarian. I mean, she's already um, reaching out to people through Royal Diadem, which you can of course find them on their social media platforms, and I believe. That is something so good when it comes from a single person. So single guys, please do something with your life as you wait. That's one thing I really loved about you. So today we are delving into something, um, as we have said, where she is. Um, she is courting, she is dating. We want to understand how do we young people get to, you know, maximize this season? Because some of the times we set very feeble foundations. And, you know, this season of courtship really sets the pace even for marriage, right? So we want to really um, um, talk about it. She can tell us how she has done it herself. But most importantly, we really just want to understand the common, you know, ways you can maximize your dating and courtship season you can dive in and of course start from the part of settling you know um how does somebody settle mm -hmm. you know you feel like this is actually the person i want to court as i plan for marriage mm -hmm. you can tell us what courtship is mm -hmm. all right uh courtship is it's a season when two people have agreed to work together mm -hmm. as friends mm -hmm. accountable being accountable to each other they have agreed to grow together in life and uh, build a future together mm -hmm. so as for me that's how i would define courtship mm -hmm. you know it's a season of love in the air and uh -huh. and all those things okay and it's very easy for someone to to go astray without knowing mm -hmm. so you realize that um the, the, the guidelines, there are things we need to do mm -hmm. and have mm -hmm. in place to guide us so that we see the whole process coming to a fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe before we even talk about um, what to do, there are things, there are processes, there are, there are stages that we go through. You don't just wake up today and you have been with this person and you're already, you know, in courtship. Mm -hmm. There's a stage, there's, there's how things will develop. And from a personal point of view and experience, everything starts with attraction. You know, mm -hmm. there's, there's always something that will be catchy mm -hmm. from the other person that will attract your attention. Mm -hmm. 
And so there is the attraction bit and you're like, wow, this person has, like for me, people say a beautiful smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there will always, always be something about that other person. Mm. And that is the beginning point of everything. Mm. And then after you get attracted to this person. So attraction, not yeah. necessarily like the first day. Like you might have known somebody, then you begin, you know, getting attracted to them. Yeah. Um, so there's something that will stand out and make you attracted to them. Mm-hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be the first day. Yeah, so, um, but for, for instance, in my case, I think we were friends for a very long time and there was nothing between <laughs> us. I don't know where the attraction came in, but it came years later. Mm. So uh, there's, there's always something that will just stand out. Mm. And then there will be the curiosity stage yeah. after, after you have gotten attracted to this person. You'll want to know more of them. Mm-hmm. That's the time you want to spend a lot of time with them. Mm-hmm. That's the time you want to do so many things with them because it's a, it's a stage of curiosity. Mm-hmm. You want to discover and learn more about this person. What do they like? What do they hate? How do I make them happy? You know, uh, yeah. So those are some of the things. Mm-hmm. And then from the curiosity stage, then we set into the reality. That is when now things, the emotions start to subside. And then it's not flowery, flowery all over Mm -hmm. again. You realize this is still a human being. Mm -hmm. There are things about this person that I don't love. Mm -hmm. There are things that this person will do and they will annoy me. You know, the reality is just setting in Mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And then after, of course, you have to be, if if you truly want to commit to this person, I think this is a stage where many relationships fail. Mm -hmm. This is a stage where many people part ways Mm -hmm. because you feel that uh, I can't accommodate one to three things about this other person. But if you manage to walk through the reality stage, then you get to the engagement stage, whereby you want now to commit. You have decided that despite the flaws that this person has, mm-hmm. I could commit my life to this person. I can build a future with this person. Mm-hmm. And you commit your life to them and they commit your life to you. Mm-hmm. And you begin a season of courtship. Mm-hmm. Okay, I love that. So there's attraction, curiosity, and of course, reality and many people get stuck at reality when they yeah. break relationships that's yeah. why people are not really settling down yeah they feel like i need a perfect person mm-hmm. uh, we all just need the basics the rest will be developed with time and yeah. of course now you get to settling so we can go now to maximizing mm-hmm. your courtship season so what are some of the ways you know young people can actually maximize this season to get the best out of it Mm -hmm. and of course to to also not get out of it weaker but stronger yeah Mm -hmm. you mentioned something very important Mm -hmm. weaker uh not get uh get out of it stronger but not weaker yes because we're having so many people out here Mm. who have been weakened by relationships people have been hurt by relationships yeah some people have even sworn that they will never love again mm-hmm. simply because of what they went through that period. Mm-hmm. But Martha, I think one of the best ways, because like you said when the show was starting, mm-hmm. is that it's a foundation that you're building mm-hmm. for marriage. Yeah. If you build a weak foundation, then you know what will happen to the marriage. If mm-hmm. the foundation is strong, then you know the outcome of it. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a time that you have to be very intentional about everything and every step that mm-hmm. we undertake and every step that we just take. Mm. So uh, one of the things I always say is that um, God comes first in everything. Mm -hmm. If you want your relationship to flourish and if you want your relationship to be an example to other people out there, Mm. you must start with God, just like everything else that has to be, you know, firm. It has to start with God. And Mm. I always say that Dating exists for collecting data. It's not for mating. Mm. You know, the society out here is speaking volumes that dating is for physical intimacy. It's It goes more it's than for that. testing and trying. It is not a time for testing. It's a time for collecting data mm. and collecting facts and weighing issues and seeing the bigger picture of everything. The second thing is that um, you have to visit couples. Like, you just have to, because those are people who have stepped into waters that you are yet to step into, Mm -hmm. that you're looking forward to. So you need someone who has been there before you Mm -hmm. to tell you, kikiwa hivi, kuna panyangwa hivi, you know. And uh, something else about uh, visiting couples is that I I always say and believe that you have to visit people who have been married for, you know, different number of years. Because when you look at the generation today, honestly, is that Mara, someone who is married for 20 years, 
do not be compared to someone who has been married for two or three years mm. or even four years. Because uh, these ones with lesser period, I can identify with them more than the yeah. people who have been there for 20 years simply mm. because of the, of the changes that come with, from one generation to another mm. and such kind of things. But it is always very healthy. You know, there are people who just want to confine to their peers and mm. just want to confine to uh, their friends at single level. Mm. I feel they don't have much to offer. You need to visit couples, mm. people who have been there. They will tell you that this is how we do things. We took one ground. Yeah, this is how we took one ground. Because <laughs> I'm no longer WhatsApp, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, behind the scenes, this is what happens. And again, visit people who can be really enough with you. Because mm. you know, as much as you have couples out there, there are people who are not real. There are people who will, no, but I can check out Yeah, of course. They want to maintain some level of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So you need to, be, to visit people who can be real enough with both of you. It's good that you visit both of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, I think for the ladies, it's also good to have women who you you follow their example, people mm. who you work with closely. And for the gents also, someone that you work closely with and uh, follow up with. So I think that will be that will, that will form a very firm foundation if you agree to work with God from the start of everything and mm. to visit couples, people who have been there, and of course godly couples. You know, we get married to raise an off- godly offspring, and so I think that um, everything is just it just gets back to being yes. related to God. Of course, yeah, they all have to have the same values you have. That can they can help you see mm-hmm. it clear. Mm-hmm. So that's amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, those are two points that we we can easily think they are not um, very needed for the foundation to be strong. Mm-hmm. But she said, God first, and of course, visit couples. What I'd say is basically take this time to learn mm-hmm. and learn and learn and learn about marriage because marriage marriage has its own school marriage has its own <laughs> there's nothing else can compare to marriage in this world marriage is just so uniquely designed to bring out the uniqueness you have and you are prepared for it it's going to be very difficult so take your time to learn and one of them is through visiting couples that is so good this far and i know that you are learning something I know you're learning something. Are you preparing yourself in this season, whether you're dating or courting? Otherwise, we'll go for a very short break. And once we come back, we are going to talk about more of what we can do to maximize this season. Thank you. In from form one to form two, yeah. one year, um, so much will serve. Two years, two years. Eh? At this point, what's the reaction of your parents? Walikuwa na cheesy. Walikuwa na cheesy mazee na kumbuka at some point form 2 man walikuwa hadi wanataka kuni disown. But God akanishow kitu fulani mzito. Mm-hmm. Akaniambia when your dream is too big, mm-hmm. some things are too small. Welcome back everyone. This is of course Decoding the Process and we have been talking about the courtship season and on board I have a very beautiful lady who definitely is in that season. Kambia, cutting just makes you happy. We wanted to be a smile. <laughs> She's just happy and spreading joy in this place today. So um, we have talked about a few things which you can of course check over if you're joining us right now. But um, uh, we have a few more things to add on to this. So how, how are the other ways? to maximize this season in dating and courting. Mm-hmm. Mm. Before the break, you had mentioned something very interesting. Take this season as a season of learning. Mm. And personally, when I hear of learning, I hear of books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you must read. Mm. You must read about marriage. Yes. You must read about where you're going to. There is so much. I have found that books have so much that is hidden in them. Mm. People will not tell you everything. Mm. But books will tell you some things that people will never tell you. Yes. And you know, nowadays we have ebooks. If you can't buy hard copies, mm. we have ebooks. Oh, we have books. a lot of information so on the much. internet. But you mm. also have to be very careful to the mm. kind of reads that you expose yourself mm. to. Make sure that these are reads that will build you and make you an wholesome individual mm. when it comes to uh to, to marriage. And like you said, every marriage is unique mm. in its own way, mm. and it's 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 for bringing out the uniqueness in you. Mm. But again, you have to know and realize that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> again, you have to know and realize. Uh, you have to know and realize that there are basic principles mm. that. 
every marriage has to follow if mm. it has to work. So you have to cultivate the discipline of reading. No one is born a reader. No one, no one Even loves those reading, who read, actually. they don't like yeah. reading. It's a discipline it's a that discipline. we cultivate and we grow ourselves into. Mm. So slowly by slowly, you can start with very small articles and small books and you keep on building it. And again, ensure that it's both of you. For instance, in my case, we have been doing together. Um, I was not so much of a reader, uh, but we have been doing at least a book per month. Mm. And you know, the book does not just focus on marriage. This is a book that probably this month will have a book on financial growth. Next month, we'll have a book on social life. The other time, we'll have a book on, you know, the different things about life. Mm. So you have reads and you ensure that both of you read together and not just do analysis, you know, mm. what have you been learning and picking from this book? Mm. It's always good to engage and see how far the other person is going and I told you come back on a content are you on the same boat yeah that's very true yeah very true someone said that uh you know the the choice for a mate should be made on a on a spiritual and intellectual basis before it's made on uh on an emotional one so the intellectual basis is 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 very core to read and know what is before us Uh, something else is that you need to have accountability. Accountability is very really key. Just like in every other sphere of life. Mm. Uh, sphere of life, you need people that you are accountable to. And this season is no exceptional. It's a very delicate season where you're prone to messing up if you don't have people uh, to to be accountable to. And then when I talk about messing up, it's not just... Uh, uh, being in physically caught up together, mm. there are other forms and ways of messing up in in a courtship season. Mm. So it's very important that you have people. Probably you can have people who have courted before you for a number of years before you, mm. or even a very young couple to work with. But it's very important that you have people that you work with, people that you share the joys of your relationship with and the sorrows of your relationship with. You tell them that this is where we are. That is very key. So have accountability and uh, people that you will continuously work together with mm-hmm. until the time of, you know, mm, crossing, over. crossing over. And again, accountability partners don't have to be the best couples. Yeah. These are people that you're just working with in this season. Mm-hmm. They are providing guidance. Accountability, yeah, yeah. it's true. Because um, anyway, um, two are better than one. Yeah. In this case, two couples. Right. Because <laughs> it's very easy to be discouraged even in the season. Mm-hmm. You get to really understand things in a very, you know, better perspective when you have other people yeah. working with you. Yeah. And they keep on encouraging you in the season. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. You can go on. Uh, probably, okay. There are so many ways you can maximize this season. But for now, I would just wish to share the fifth one, the fifth one and the last one, which is find something to do together. Mm-hmm. You know, have something that will keep the bond together. There are days you wake up and you don't feel like talking to this person. <laughs> there are days you wake up and how do you ski? How do you ski? But you know, this is a commitment that you have already. And it put gets worse in marriage. Mm-hmm. I hear people say so. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> So Imagine we need to have one kila siku. Now we no na boy ka na monyo no na kila siku. So that happens, and mm-hmm. it's very important that you have something to just keep the bond together. Probably a small savings plan for both of you. Sometimes it's not about the money, but it's about something to just mm-hmm. keep you together. Uh, you can have probably also the reading can get into that. Just find something that will suit uh, you people. For yeah. me, I adopted the savings plan and, you know, I will send because I know I'm committed to this person. They mm. send because they know they are committed and that has kept us together. And mm. then there's mutual growth despite uh, the distance between us. Mm. So just look for what suits the both of you mm. and, and, yeah. Do, do something together true because sometimes enjoying somebody's company is not enough. Yeah. You need something to keep you going mm-hmm. you know those mm-hmm. things that you do together that's why children make marriage more fulfilling why mm-hmm. because there's something else you're looking up to beyond just the two of you yeah. so it always enriches mm-hmm. the bond between the two of you more than just having the two of you mm-hmm. 
you know, just saying they love you and love all you know, everything. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And I'm really, I hope you guys are really getting the point because these things are very important. And as much as you think that um, um, you can enjoy so much in the courtship season, we're not just saying you cannot do that, but we're saying there's so much into it than just really enjoying it and, you know, wasting the time just loving each other. You can love each other, but there's so much more to it if you want a strong foundation. So as we conclude, you can just tell them one thing that you feel is very important for them to know, even as they continue course, preparing for their courtship season, and even for those who are in the courtship season. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, to those who are preparing to get in the courtship season, and also those who are already in it, mm -hmm. that seek to have a courtship season that glorifies God. Mm -hmm. When all is said and done, we have to give the glory back to our creator. Yeah. Mm. And if that season doesn't do that, then I think we would have failed as young people. Mm. And we also have to seek out to set an example mm. to the people who are coming behind us. Mm. I love what is happening in the church right now concerning marriages. And I think I wish that would be embraced when it comes to courtship also. Mm. There is this way that has come about about um the church standing in for marriages and the church right now is advocating that marriage works mm. after a long period of hearing about marriage is not working. Mm. So if this can also be channeled into relationships and just having individuals who are intentional about it, that we have to give God the glory even mm. as we relate, even as we are in this courtship season. Let, let everything that you do give back. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So guys, you have had it. I don't want to say so much because a lot have been said, but I believe you have taken something home and all we wish is the best for you guys. In as much as we want um you to 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 do the right thing, we still wish that at the end of it all you get the right partner and you settle down and finally we will come for your wedding. So um be encouraged. She has said sometimes it gets boring. Don't think that because it gets boring it's done it's just a season it's a normal it is the normalcy of life and it's just something new you get to you, you're never fond of somebody all the time it's it's just a normalcy in the reality that really sets in when you have somebody by your side otherwise thank you so much for joining us today it has been me martha mora and of course wema tv is glad to always provide information and knowledge matters relationships every tuesday at 9 45 pm and may you come with friends neighbors sisters brothers do not get this alone we love you guys very much and have a blessed evening